Welcome back. In Module 6, we'll learn how to export and share your finished video. Let's get started. So you've put together a great instructional video. You've spent time really making it shine, so now it's time to share it with the world. Before you do anything, make sure and watch your video one more time with the sound on. I know it's really easy to get sick of seeing and hearing yourself, but this is a critical step. You want to make sure that you've included everything you needed to, and you've got to make sure that you haven't included anything you didn't want in there. When the blue time marker gets to the end of your video, it should stop automatically. If it doesn't stop and keeps on going, that means there's more media later in the timeline, so you'll want to take care of that. A thumbnail is the preview screenshot of the video that people see before they play your video. To choose the thumbnail, drag the blue time marker to the place in your video that you think would make a good thumbnail. The best place is in the middle of the opening title sequence once the full title of your video has been revealed. After you've decided where to drag the blue time marker, leave it there. Check the blue finish button in the upper right hand corner. You'll see a screen that asks you to name your video. Be specific with your name and include a date. Check to see that you've chosen the correct thumbnail. WeVideo gives you other random thumbnail options, so just be sure that you choose the one that you want. Ensure that under Export, the Video Radio button is selected. For your resolution, SD or Standard Definition is just fine, especially since most students will be watching it on their Chromebooks. If you were going to be showing this video in your classroom on the big screen, consider selecting HD. It'll provide a clearer image for a screen that large. Under Destinations, you have a few options. The first circle saves the video to the WeVideo server. Only people with the address will be able to view it. The next circle saves it into your Google Drive. There's a folder that it will create in Google Drive called WeVideo, where it will store all the videos that you make with WeVideo. This circle uploads it to your YouTube account. There are other options, but these are the three that you'll use the most. By default, you have to choose the WeVideo option. It won't let you unselect it. But you can choose any combination of the others that we've talked about apart from that. Click Export and take a little break. It usually takes a couple of minutes for WeVideo to assemble your video into a final polished product. You'll see the timer on the screen showing how much time is left. You don't have to keep that window up though. When the video is done rendering, you'll see a link. That's the link of your finished video and you can pass it out to students and families. You'll also get an email from WeVideo letting you know that your video is ready for prime time. If you forget the link, don't worry. Just go to the Exports tab, double click on your video, and you'll see the address in the address bar. That's the end of this module. Try exporting your test video. If you haven't gotten your YouTube channel set up yet, just export your video to WeVideo and Google Drive. In our final module, we'll do a lightning quick look at some of WeVideo's advanced features for our high cap video editors. See you there.